Joining me now is Dr. Rod Will from the Department of Natural Resource Ecology and Management. Welcome to Oklahoma Gardening, Rod. Yeah, thanks. Well, I know you've been studying the use of eastern red cedar as a mulch material. What first got you interested in using these trees for mulch? Well, as you drive around central and western Oklahoma, it's clear that eastern red cedar is invading our native prairie. Mm -hmm. And the best thing by far folks can do is to prevent that infestation from happening, either through prescribed burning or other good land management practices. But sometimes you miss that wind of opportunity and the trees get too big. And the only option at that point is mechanical clearing. Yeah. Unfortunately, the cost of that is often prohibitive. Yeah, it can be quite expensive exactly. to remove all those trees. And so what I wanted to look at was using a locally made product, red cedar mulch, mm -hmm. uh, and increase the use of that product and hopefully defray part of the cost of clearing that land for landowners. Now, would you anticipate people making money from using uh, this mulch or just simply paying for the removal? Uh, probably not making money, mm -hmm. but it might offer an opportunity to have it, your land cleared and restored at a lower cost or maybe at a break even. Okay. Now, when you first started looking at using eastern red cedar as a mulch material, there were some misconceptions among gardeners. Can you explain a few of those? Yeah. As we talked to gardeners, um, it was clear there were some misconceptions. Uh, mm -hmm. Folks would tell us that they thought it killed plants or that it sucked the moisture out of the ground. Mm -hmm. And that led to Tom Hennessy, Janet Cole, Craig McKinley, and I to secure funding from the Oklahoma Center for the Advancement of Science and Technology mm -hmm. to do a controlled study to compare uh, red cedar mulch to other common wood mulches. Okay, and you have a graduate student working on this project, so we're gonna go visit with him and learn a little bit more about that research. Great. Well, Adam, can you tell me a bit about your mulch study here? Yeah, what we're doing is we're looking at seven different mulch types. They're all wood-based mulches. They're very common. You can find them in most of your local stores. Mm -hmm. And we've added red cedar to the mix. And basically what we're looking at is comparing different uh, soil variables, plant growth, and, and so forth. Okay, and what are uh, additional variables that you're looking at, specific variables? What we're looking at, we're looking at the rate of decomposition of each mulch type. Mm -hmm. We're also looking at soil moisture, soil temperature. We're also looking at soil pH, soil nutrients. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at, like I said, the plant growth, and we're also monitoring for uh, termites and insects. Okay, and what kind of plants have you included in the study? We have a wide, throughout the study, we're using a wide range of annuals, mm -hmm. perennials, and trees. Okay. Uh, here in front of us, we're, for these specific plots, we're using perennials, and we're using a shoemart oak and a redbud tree. They're very common mm -hmm. in a landscape setting in Oklahoma. And the perennials we are using are uh, Dianthus, Black-Eyed Susan, Arizona Sun, and uh, Sedum. Okay, and again, these are very common plants. Very that common in the landscape. in the landscape and Oklahoma proven. Okay. So. What have some of your findings been as you've gone through this study? Well, so far, the biggest thing is there's a big difference between mulch and not using mulch. Mm -hmm. Not among the different mulch types, but when you use mulch, it's going to increase your soil moisture, mm -hmm. it's going to decrease your soil temperature, and it's going to increase your plant growth. And in regards to plant growth and the soil variables, mm -hmm. red cedar has ranked among the best of all the mulch types we are studying. Excellent. So basically the bottom line is if you like the way it looks, mm -hmm. you should use it. Okay. Now, of course, whenever you do research, you're always left with more questions. Is there additional questions you want to address? Uh, there's a few questions. Mm -hmm. We're wanting to take a more controlled study, look mm -hmm. at termites and insects. There's, okay. you know, there's sayings, uh, suggestions that red cedar mulch and some of the other mulch types may repel insects and termites. We want to get a closer look at that as well as look at wind resistance, see how the mulches compare as far as how they're disturbed by the wind. Uh, there's anecdotal information that suggests red cedar mulch may stick together better because okay. of some physical characteristics. So that's just something else we want to look at further. As that well. would certainly be a benefit for uh, gardening here in Oklahoma. Yes, it would. Well, thank you, Adam. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, Rod, another aspect of your studies have been surveying gardeners to get an idea of their impressions of the aesthetic appearance of red cedar mulch. What have you found through these? 
Well, we've been doing surveys where the people rank the mulches, and we don't tell them what they are ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And red cedar mulch is actually ranked as the most popular mulch among the different mulch types, and based on, on appearance only. Wonderful, well, and I can see that because it has a lot of colors to it. The little reds and oranges mm -hmm. come out, and it's very sure, attractive. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Uh, in, based on what we're finding in terms of the effects of all the mulches on plant growth, I think folks should really consider using red cedar mulch. Um, it's locally produced, it keeps the money in the state, increases okay. tax receipts, and I guess in one small way helps to restore a degraded ecosystem. Absolutely. So it's good for the environment and good for our local economy as well. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for sharing your findings with us today. Oh, you're welcome.